I'm so happy to announce that this portion of the video is sponsored by my friends over at Asume. Asume specializes in keycaps, keyboards, and desk accessories. They actually sent over their pre-built Dalgona keyboard, which I just unboxed. And I'm very excited for this because this is the collaboration Eki 68 Aurora keyboard made by Wuchui Studios. But it's based on Osume's Dalgona keycap set. So they actually offer the Dalgona keyboard in two different colorways, cream and brown. And it also comes in two different keycap styles, Hangul and Standard. The keyboard comes with Aurora linear switches. Right out of the box, I was very impressed by the smooth and creamy typing experience. This keyboard is also hot swappable, meaning that you can switch to different switches for a different typing experience. I'm honestly super proud of my friends over at Asume for the beautiful work done to create this keyboard. I know that they put a lot of attention to design and color and minimalism and I'm just all for that. The Dalgona keyboard is going to be available for purchase on April 6th. Make sure you follow their Instagram to stay updated on their sale. I'm a big fan of Osume and all of their different keycap collections and I'm really excited to add Dalgona to my collection. Let me share with you how the keyboard sounds and let's do a quick typing test. So today I have a lot of things that I want to get done. We are currently planning on our next sale event for Cozy Lee Studios. So we need to do a lot of research on packaging, supplies, as well as getting our process down. I think the biggest takeaway from our previous sale event was that even if you make your product successfully once, the process is going to be completely different when you produce it in a larger quantity. So we wanna make sure we have our process down before we even open the next sale event so that we don't face some of the struggles that we faced last time. The behind the scenes of the last sale event were pretty chaotic. There were a lot of overwhelming feelings, pressure of fulfilling deadlines and orders, especially since we handmade each and every desk mat. We just wanna make sure that our next sale event is healthier. <laughs> so yeah, these days I've been doing a lot of research into our processes as a team and we actually incorporated sprints into our team management and it has helped a lot with our tasks. So right now I'm just organizing all of our tasks and making sure that we're all good for the week ahead. If I don't do task management, I definitely feel a lot of anxiety and a lot of overwhelming feelings because there's always just so much to get done and just not enough time. I think I personally spend a lot of time dwelling or thinking what ifs and worrying about things that are just gonna slow me down. So writing things down, getting it in a task management software and just being on the same page with my team has helped a lot. And I think my personal challenge is sticking to the actual sprint and not thinking outside of it. <laughs> I wanted to check in on you guys. How have you guys been? Has this time of year been slow for you at work or has it been more busy? For me, I think I'm just always busy no matter what time of year it is, but I genuinely really love what I do. So I feel good when I'm busy and I feel really excited.
chamfer will actually make it look nice when it's on the table. Yeah, it'll ease the layer lines a little bit. But here, what ends up happening is you get a little bit of elegance. But that's basically when like the bottom of the print you can see here kind of balloons out because the first layer is like way too like flattened, so it's wider than the intended dimensions. And so a chamfer would kind of help alleviate that because the elephant's foot wouldn't really be occurring here on the edge anymore, which is what I'm concerned about. Instead, you'd be transferring it inward a little more. Maybe we should add the chamfer to the design. I think it'll make it look better too. getting ready for my anniversary dinner with Tristan. We've been together for five years. We met in college. We've been best friends for probably seven years. So we've known each other for quite a long time. I remember I first met Tristan in college. We immediately became best friends. We bonded over Super Smash Brothers because a bunch of people were playing it in our dorm. That's actually how we met. And then we would always destroy other people in the video game together. And we nicknamed ourselves the Dream Team. So it's kind of funny because the Dream Team kind of became our inside joke. So whenever we went through struggles together, we 
always knew we had each other's backs. And then throughout the journeys of life, we've always been by each other's sides. And then I guess the rest is history from there. <laughs> now him, me, and my sister Ashley are the trio and we always do amazing things together. And we have a lot of fun working together. I've actually been trying to show him more in my YouTube videos so that you guys can get to know him. So yeah, I'll make Tristan pop in more from time to time. All right, so, oops. So we're going to head out to our anniversary dinner and just enjoy the night. 